Welcome to beautiful Venice Beach, California on a not so sunny day, a little bit overcast. There's the green monster that eats everything. The city tries to keep the restrooms clean but because so many people I come and visit. So I try not to use those restrooms here. Some that got writings in there. In the past couple weeks, police are coming around checking all the bathrooms because people have been living in the restroom and they're locking themselves inside and nobody can use it. Well, you met Gary many times on my channel before. Gary, what do we look out for today? Well, if you wanna know where they start, you wanna, you wanna look out for the guys in white. All right. That'll do it. They'll tell you where they're going to start. All right, let's do that. And don't you have a YouTube channel as well? Hey, thanks for asking. Uh, yeah, it's Venice Gallery, spelling uh, G-A-L-L-E-R-I-E. -L -L -E. Well, they can see it right here. And Gary's a oh. good friend of mine, so he's helping me out a lot, and I help him out sometimes. Slimer, they got the Ghostbusters here. A new store just opened up, not McDonald's, McCharlie's. The early bird catches the waves. They're already going home. Those are the early birds out there. Look at this thing here. He's doing such a great job cleaning the sand, getting all the glass out. It's kind of hazy right now. We're actually waiting for Hurricane Hillary coming this weekend. Uh-oh. It's definitely not an easy task to keep those clean because there's thousands and thousands of people use them all the time. Look at all the activity with the surfers down there. Every Thursday and Friday, they come down and clean the restrooms and try to remove the homeless they try to set up on Venice Beach. They got some of those toilets here because they're gonna have like a competition on the weekend. There goes the safety team. And look, there's another familiar face, Fabian. You guys probably seen him before. Santa Monica close up. At your service. At his service, at your service. He's been filming the homeless cleanup since a while already. So we'll see what we can see today. The flying eye is watching you. And this never happened in the history since I've been here in Venice, that there's three spaces available. Out of business, this one is available. Out of business, this one is available. 
out of business, this one is available. And believe me, soon there's going to be even more empty spaces right here. Look, there's Nathan's piano. He's going to push it over at 9 o'clock. Still early right now. There's the Venice live cam up there. I haven't done an update for a long time. People ask me, what is the update in Venice on the homeless? Sometimes you just see them laying down. There's no encampment anymore. Like I said, occasionally see them laying here on the beach. But all this was full of homeless encampments back then. So they cleaned up the beach pretty good. There's a couple of people setting up at the lifeguard station. Uh, he's walking around. And this is the stuff they're gonna clean up today. They just come here, they abandon their stuff. And like I said, every Thursday and Friday, they're gonna pick up stuff like this. Yeah, somebody is sleeping underneath this. This is one of the restrooms that closed down. Not sure why. Six restrooms closed. Handicapped, disabled, and family restroom only. It sure is a quiet morning here. Must be cold being out here at night and the moisture. VIP. You know what that means? Vandals in paradise. Ever since they cleaned up Venice Beach, crime went down a lot. Those two places are out of business. If you watch this video for the first time, you probably think there's a lot of homeless people here in Venice, but this is nothing compared to how it looked before. You can go back on my channel and see what it's like a couple years ago. We are right here on the border of Venice and Santa Monica, right there where the blue sign is. This is where the border is. Welcome to Santa Monica. I'm in Venice. I'm in Santa Monica. I'm in Venice. I'm in Santa Monica. Hey, you got a wheel missing. Candle Cafe and Grill, out of business. Here they come in full force. Wow, I didn't know there's that many people. And there comes the green machine. This is the place where they had some problems in the past. People are living inside the restroom. They had like mattresses in there, bicycles, all kinds of stuff.
Those two came together out of that one bathroom that was closed. This is Lhasa and they're here to get the information and they are try, try to get them housing. This is unbelievable. People live inside the bathroom. It smells in there and all, everything laying on the ground. It's wet. I don't even want to go in there and use it because it smells so bad and people live in there. Pretty sad. I mean, I've seen days when every single door people came out. So the city comes, open the door. Those are here for security, but they don't have any guns. And those are the toxic people. Sometimes they just stand around. People say, oh, they're not doing anything, but they only come here to clean up needles and all kinds of other stuff, feces. And you're probably thinking, why are they not locking those doors at night so nobody can sleep there overnight? So sometimes they're in there already during the day. And if there's a sanitation worker just come in, he cannot just open the door. You never know who is in there. So it's really dangerous for him alone to open up a door. Every time they open up one of those doors, they have to have security with them in case something happened. And that's why they don't lock it at night. So they do provide service for the people. A couple weeks ago, there's a couple people, they lost their lives. They overdosed right here in the bathroom. So the city is doing the best they can do to clean up the beach. The Lhasa worker is trying to get his information. Maybe he can get a hotel room. There's somebody else in the tent too. Goblin male deer, I mean, 
I know, I haven't finished that one. I mean, we're gonna go to the baby. I got to say, I should watch that song one more time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it up mm -mm -mm. so the city is here they're recording everything they cleaned so he didn't really leave too much stuff here for them to clean up just a couple of spray cans So he basically moved his stuff from over there to over here. So off to the next location. <coughs> More cleaning. All good here. When there's nobody there, they just take the stuff. They took the bike. Next bathroom is coming up. Let's check it out. Never, never, ever, ever, I would think about people staying in there, sitting on the ground.
I don't think there's anybody here who claims that stuff. They're gonna take everything away. This is the Venice Beach Pier. They just gave the lady some water for the dog. So they disinfect the area. They also giving the lady some dog food. That dog is hungry. Everybody's splitting up. Next location. Make sure you come out more often. <laughs> well, my friends, that was it. Live here from Venice Beach, California. It's still overcast. And right when you thought you'd seen it all, you see people living in a restroom. Who would willingly live in a restroom? Unbelievable. If I would be homeless, I would go somewhere where it doesn't smell that bad, but I believe they don't even smell it anymore. Anyway, I think it's not fair for all the people that want to use the restroom. There's thousands of tourists here on the weekend, and if they have like six, seven restrooms closed because people lock themselves in the bathroom, that one guy even had all the ketchup, the mayonnaise, he's eating in the bathroom. This is unbelievable. So in Santa Monica, they have bathrooms like this, but nothing like this happens there there's nobody locking themselves in in the bathroom i guess they have one person 
they check all the restrooms all the time so maybe that's something venice has to look forward to to have somebody i mean this is going to cost a lot of money to have somebody there to monitor the restroom but something has to be done because this is just terrible and every week the same thing every week they open the doors the same guys same people coming out of the restroom anyway if you happen to like this video maybe you want to give it a thumbs up push the notification bell and subscribe to the german in venice that was it the whole ordeal was about six hours i got here at six something and i'm finishing almost like 12 31 o'clock so that was a long day. Now I gotta go home, edit this, and um, come here on the weekend. The weekend's supposed to have like a hurricane coming, you heard that, so maybe I'm gonna do a video about Venice Beach while there's a hurricane, I don't know yet. So, see you guys later. Tschüssing.